what is going on words it's your boy Shinryu back again with another video and last time we discussed items in the bag that I recommend I use as soon as possible so as to get your team to progress as far as possible today we're gonna go to discuss the items that you want to keep a hold of as much as you can uh, so as to maximize potential team as well as avoid wasting resources and then having to regret you know using them when you didn't actually plan to do so before and you know you actually now find yourself either unable to recover these resources or they cost you a couple of gems to actually get them rolling okay so we're pretty much talking about the items in the bag all right and like i also mentioned as well we're also going to be discussing um a different video where i'm going to be just, you know talking about items that i would recommend you buy all right i'm going to actually talk about some of them hopefully i can post one today as well all right but let's go right ahead and let's get started okay so first of all let's hit the you know the bag real quick here so that we can actually you know type is on what we're talking about i believe i have about you know seven i mean eight items that i actually recommend that you want to hoard and don't forget this is my recommendations because this is what really has helped me able to use current teams that current units that have only recently come out but be become as viable as quickly as possible because i'm sort of anticipating you know the fact that you know the, the old teams or the teams that are available right now might either become obsolete or at least not as useful as the new guys actually coming in okay so you don't want to go right ahead and start going ham you just want to make sure you focus on your top six all right and then of course those top six might end up becoming your second unit for example in the south you know how to mode and all the other stuff so now let's get to it okay the first thing i'm going to talk about here is every chested item okay any item that you see that is chested apart from the ones that i talked about in the previous video which are those um you know um the guest the, the the guest chests or those art piece chests, those chests that way you have to now select the items you want to actually get. And I think I mean, do I have an example of this right now? Because I, yeah, so one of these, you know, chests right now that you have no idea of what it's in, you know, you want to use it as soon as possible to figure out whatever the item is. That's pretty much what I was trying to discuss here. But the ones you want to keep, I'm talking about these chest items here, okay? This one right now doesn't really matter anymore because right now at this moment, we're just hoarding brick stones and we're not really using them because we're past, you're only gonna need them to hit that limit break section and then you pretty much get it back and then all of a sudden you're hoarding as much as possible. I'll find out more about what's gonna be happening next to those later, but for now, my mom and I sort of been off it and so you don't want to worry about those okay so now i just like chested items here they're not the items you want to keep as much as you can you know even these gems as well you know as you can see you guys already know the journey of these gems i've been keeping for a long time they're pretty much going to probably will be unleashed once you know or either you hit triple s because i'm going to be going ham in that definition section of course i'm not going to be going ham in terms of i'm going to just run everything as soon as possible i'm going to be taking intervals but running you know a decent amount of gems it's not going to be three pr in that session okay um those are that's one item that i actually want to like talk about here so i think i've thought every single chest okay this also includes the boost stones as well and now you see that it's in the chest that you actually have an idea of what the items are also the triple s kits as well as you guys know this is already for every year as soon as it hits triple s uh the other ones that you're actually going to be getting that i kind of assign as soon as possible are the ones that i have on my wish list in the car vehicle here okay so we want to go right ahead i said we want to awaken no i wanted to promote you want to promote them go to the garage right now i make sure that i have minimum of nine k because that's pretty much, I believe, the um, 3PR for here. And with the 3PR over here, it's a bit tricky, right? For me, I believe it's every other three 3PR. For example, you might get a 3PR, the 3PR might work in your first attempt, and then it might not work in the second attempt. But what I have noticed is that if it doesn't work in the previous attempt that you've done it, I, I tend to get a bit lucky on the other attempt. Doesn't mean it's guaranteed. This doesn't work like 3PR, like, you know, the one for the regular draws here, right? Doesn't work for those ones who use the arcade coins or the, you know, um faction recruit or even the you know friend recruit as well this one is strictly more like every other three pr if you don't get in the first you know three does hold back try again the next three you probably you probably will get it uh, but you're more likely to get back to back within the next three than where you don't actually get in the following three okay where you have back to back where you don't get at all so that's um what i why i actually went there before i actually got distracted with the trip pr there is that over here this is uh, let's go back um this is where you want to be more concerned about the you know do so it's whatever draw you have here is what you're going to be assigning which is going to be based on the wish list here right but the ones that you know 
you are going to be getting whenever you hit those landmarks you know right about here occasionally you will get like an industry plus kits and other kind of stuff you want to keep it for you know you want to keep as long as possible until you actually have like almost you know three sets and in fact almost a full set which is like six and the reason why i'll say three sets is because if you already have the character you actually save it for then you always use it for the character as soon as you have the three you know even as you as soon as you go you can keep using it but you're holding this because you want to actually keep it for either a potential character or a character that you currently you know have been waiting for and then you now you hit them on triple s and now you're just unleashing pretty much the you know triple s kits on them so that's how that one works as well and the same thing goes with the fake gems you don't want to just go right ahead and start assigning as soon as you can when it comes to the fighting heart okay you want to make sure that you're strategic about it the teams you actually prioritize move for me right now is obviously the assassins because i actually have you know um evil ryu and I hope to have Akuma eventually. So it's going to be one of those as well. I'm guessing um, Goku might be power. But I know I have you know some power characters there. You know like Ryu. You know like Viper. Or attack characters rather. And then of course we have the tanks like Fashion Blanca. Actually working those. The balance ones like you know Bizangiv. You know um, also pretty much important. This is my least unit right now. Because even though I love the support units. That are actually here right now. Uh, they're typically mostly support. I'd rather give the damage ability the other ones and eventually push this ones through once some of the other ones are actually up here so that's been my strategy this one is actually the best strategy right now but that's pretty much the one that works i believe i have uh, someone actually needs you know assistance i'm going to go right here and just assist them okay now the next thing we're going to talk about here like i said if there's any chested items that i may have missed you know forgive me t2s as well yeah i think i missed those as well right where the t2 chest it definitely i'm holding those right you want to use them until you actually have a full set of t1s where they actually form the faction unit. and now look at this situation with the t2 right now okay i have some of the major characters that I want to have them but then factual blanca because i'm trying to actually get his own item that's what actually what i want to talk about here as well you know you don't want to be you know with the legendary items you can't get the ledger equipments right away just from the you know uh, idle whatever you can buy them as well this is the only source of the legendary ones now you can also do you know uh the um you know the um the crafting where you actually go and like change the you know um element of the whatever uh you can only get it through here and they typically come out occasionally so i finally got my first set of um you know of uh, you know of those leg leg ledger equipments i'm going to go into that further because i also have things i have to say about some other sort of items that you want to also hold as well okay um because if you remember i mentioned that with regular you know, equipment um, that you have as soon as you have them once you can boost you know you want to boost them but then you want also on to keep uh, a level but there are some special items that you may have that you may want to hold okay uh, and i'll explain that shortly but let's go right ahead and go to fashion blanket here as you can see i finally got my first you know set of you know gem and then that one that i hoarded that's what i used to upgrade to four that's why i was going to boost four right away and i'm going to show you what i'm talking about in a bit when i go over to you know the you know what let me actually go to it right now so that way i don't actually you know waste it because i believe they also fall under since when you use right away okay so i'm talking about um your equipments here right so they're going to be some equipment that i don't have any example right now but i had some you know what i was you know work talking about i believe the ones that you want to use them as soon as possible and these are the equipment that, for example you actually invest in them initially and you actually boost them to a good degree you want to see them once you actually have a brand new you know item like this for example and that has no boost at all because once you have them if you boost them to five for example or four they're most likely going to take them to level four but level four is where it actually gets tough when it comes to building up this equipment all right uh they they they, they take the most amount of you know uh item xp that i can actually give uh and so even though you're on four you might still end up sleeping on four if you give a four to someone that's already on four but obviously you are closer to five but then you miss the opportunity of actually having to boost other items that pretty much are still on one or zero and you can actually push them to that same strength because it's not going to be measuring based on whatever extra gauge let's go to level up here whatever extra gauge that you've you've worked on here you're just going to only recognize these four stars not these four diamonds or whatever that's all it recognizes so you want to make sure you use them strategically and smartly as well okay i believe i have a character that would probably need you know let's go ahead and just see like a ring who do i have prioritized that doesn't have okay let's give it to chun for now we'll trigger out the rest later 
um yeah okay so let's go so um that's pretty much it with regards to that equipment that i was talking about here equipment that already you've already upgraded in previous period you don't want to go right ahead and use them right away because you might need new gears that you actually want to boost as soon as possible and that brings us back to the t2s right and once you have a full set you know of t1s you can then go right ahead and decide which one you want to do because you don't want to rush your decision with who you want to use the t2 on right you want to make sure it's all strategic you want to make sure that they can actually get a full set as well and you actually have you know the chance to actually make them to the full potential so that's why you want to keep the t2s as well and you already talk about um I think that's been what you any chested item I can think about. Or uh, if there's anyone that missed, just let like I said before, as long as they're not one of those guests, so you actually have to figure out what is where you have to where you do not know what is in, but you have to do a random pull or when you pull it in, you have the option of selecting whatever it is you want. Just go right ahead and select the items you want and then just go right ahead and straight to it. Okay. Now the other thing I want to talk about here is the rest are pretty much extremely recommended by myself, but optional. Okay. Division scrolls special um to uh, uh special summon tokens okay arcade coins no and uh you know the faction coins as well these ones here typically i recommend that you want to hoard as soon as possible hard as much as possible because the more you have the more your chances of breaking whatever that pd is to actually get the stuff that it is like i said before i continue trying to do the trip PR regardless of whether it worked for me or not just pulling threes and seeing if it worked out sometimes even twos and i've pulled a total of almost like over 100 in the last couple of pulls with my special summon tickets and i haven't gotten any single unit obviously that doesn't mean that if, if i had pulled 100 straight i'll get it as well but you have a higher probability of actually getting something if you have more of the card so you know that's one reason why i actually recommend in this case right now and um like i said here just as soon as i have this one i'm just going to just pull this this one doesn't count but with the a frag this one pretty much is more important because when it comes to the draft as well you know you can it's easy for you to now start prioritizing who moves what but this one for example is more or less is, is not necessary it's not necessary this one the least prioritized one this one i just do because you know of the whole draft situation it's kind of fun to do the draft datings and also you boost characters to a high degree and then you also start to prioritize who's on your wish list now because all of a sudden you've actually gotten enough frags to actually take one out of your wish list because you're already fully you know uh boosted okay the other thing i also want to mention as well is um the invitation cards okay so you know there are two of them there's one is like the factional one the factional one i always recommend as soon as you have it used right away but invitation ones falls under the same category as the a frag as well because there's no limit you have the potential of getting like you know um a master infernal character so just because of like i said also the drafts of as well and typically if you are pulling you know in that long length you have a higher chance of hitting one of those in front of master character as well doesn't mean that you don't pull at once because my brother yeah, as soon as he gets his card he pulls it occasionally he'll probably he has pulled i believe he's pulled one of those infernal characters once but i've pulled like about you know five six times i, I believe um, already from this and that's because i hoarded them so you have a higher chance it doesn't seem that it works that's why i said you know this is all just recommendations but they tend to reward you long term when you're trying to build up that squad you're trying to build up okay and fake gems we talked about this as well before right you know this one here you don't want, you want to make sure that you don't just use it let's go with let's go back to the all category here i've sort of like yeah the fake gems you want to make sure that you know um once you're certain of what faction you're actually building as, long as soon as you have enough to push it you push it through uh but you're holding it until you have enough to push it through until you've hit and you want to also make sure that as you're pushing through what actually matters okay is not each level each level would get you to you know maybe a little bit stronger for example you know the next level here is your hp become um your hp becomes um an extra 108 1821 stronger your attack is 126 stronger but you don't get the next perk here until you hit five i don't want to delay it so right this one right now as you can see here the next unlock for me this is 35 one that says 30 
yeah it's this one here 30 here right so i'm going to be focusing everything until i hit 30 right now before i now go to any one of these other two so that's pretty much why you want to be holding them as well to make sure that you have enough to push those to the next ones as well and take yourself to make that particular fractional unit a bit stronger okay uh, or should i say that you uh, know um yeah fraction uh, attacking unit of faction uh, and you know the other thing i'm also going to say as well is that any other thing that i have not mentioned here uh, pretty much discretion at this point i don't really have any super you know recommendations for those ones here for example um what i've not talked about what i've not talked about you know this one's here Nah, i don't care much about those and there's i think that's pretty much it here those are the items i'm talking about here so also give you a recap real quick here I'm talking about the nhs items okay you know like the break stones the cash the jam t2 kids triple s vehicles all that stuff you know and you also want to consider those ones that I actually summon as well like divination scrolls arcade tokens the you know uh, special summon tokens you know fractional coins and even a frags thus the a frags and the invitation cards are specifically for the draft whatever that's more supposed to be fun but it also tends to also improve your chance of infernal characters if you're and master character if you're actually concerned about those obviously not not including those ones that are in the special you know uh pool okay uh we also also mentioned you know um fake gems as well and otherwise that's pretty much what's going to cover that aspect of those items that you actually want to hoard uh if you have any questions if you have any questions at all about what i've just mentioned put them out in the comments i'll be able to expatiate further on any inquiries that you want to know why i'm actually doing this how it's actually worked out for me you know what really lot i've seen so far you know as you can see here i'm using my evil you um very viably and that's because i actually started the, in the habit of actually holding it so i was able to actually push him to a good degree give him the equipment i needed and actually makes him in the right situation okay but that's pretty much it from your boy you know shin ryu here i appreciate your time here today for the views for the likes you know you know i know they're not much right now but at least you know a couple of you have been liking the videos uh, please like the video as, as you watch it you know um comment anything at all even if you're not satisfied with certain things as well whatever your criticisms are put them down as well i want to learn more about what you guys want to see and i will catch you guys in the next one cheers guys